In this video, I'll show you how to tie the ultimate trout jig, the woolly bugger. There is a reason why fly fishermen love fishing the woolly bugger pattern, it just works. If you ever search online for the top 10 fly lures to catch trout, you will see that it is always going to be a part of a top 5 list. For all you non-fly anglers, no need to fear because you can actually make the woolly bugger in a form of a jig. Unfortunately, I don't think they really sell this, so stay and watch this video on how to make this jig. It's actually very easy. It's like the video I've made previously on how to make a marabou jig. The only thing that's different is that you add hackle. All right, let's do this. I'll be making a olive green woolly bugger, so I'll be primarily using green related materials. So I'll be starting out with an olive powder painted jig in 1 16th ounce, but I'll also use 1 32nd ounce for my trout fishing. I am using 140 UTC for my thread and first you want to wrap up the jig shank start building that up so that your material will stay on the shank. I am using two olive green marabou's here. Measure the marabou feather to the length of your hook. Lightly wrap the feathers on the hook by the barb then cut off the ends and then start wrapping the marabou down. Before you wrap everything down, make sure you readjust the feather and then secure it down with some tight wrap. Next is optional, but let's add in the crystal flash. Take one strand and half it twice by cutting them. And then you want to half it one final time and you half it around your thread and secure it to the hook near the hook point. Then I like to spread the flash around the marabou and then wrap it down and secure it so that the position of the flash is all around the lure. Okay, let's talk about the next material for the woolly bugger, the hackle. I have whiting woolly bugger pack in olive color and it comes in a bird hide so you have various size of feathers. I like to pick one out smaller but not too small. I prefer to have strands that's going to be longer than the jig head when it's tied on but it's really hard to visualize right now. So let me first show you how to tie it, wrap it, and then we're gonna come right back to this and discuss my ranges of size for the hackle. So after you select your hackle, strip some of the fur out of one end as you'll need to tie off one end later. Having a clean end will make it easier to finalize your jig. Note you may need to strip out some more later, but what we have here would suffice and we'll strip some more out later to finalize the lure. Tying your hackle and let it hang as shown here. Then you want to tie on your chenille. Bring your line to the head of the jig, then start wrapping the chenille to the head and secure it and cut off the excess. Now start wrapping the hackle along the crease of the chenille in a manner where the hair is actually sticking straight out. You want it perpendicular to the shank of your hook. Try twisting the hackle so that you could achieve this. Here is another view on how it goes. As you can see, as I try to twist the hackle so that the feathers are pointing straight away from the hook shank. If you have any excess feather on your hackle, strip them out and then secure them with a couple wraps. And then finalize the jig with a couple half hitches and your favorite head cement glue. So here is the completed woolly bugger jig. Back to the hackle size selection, I like to have the max length hackle hair to be a bit longer than my jig head. Bare minimum for me is it would need to be barely protruding past the jig head. I find this the most effective for me but make sure you guys fiddle with the size so that you can see what works best for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, please give me a like if you do. Don't forget to subscribe as I would definitely be fishing this lure during trout opening season. I can guarantee you that you'll catch a lot of trout using this woolly bugger jig because it is just like the marabou jig. The fish don't wait guys, so prepare for the season. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment below. Tight lines guys.